Hello and welcome to this harvest update. It's fair to say harvest this year has been typified by hot, dry weather for most of Great Britain. As a result, we got off to an early, fast start, with spring harvest still very much ongoing. Today, we'll focus on winter crops. The winter wheat harvest has been the fastest for the past five years. In the week ending 14th of August, approximately 80% of the wheat had been cut. This is 25% ahead of the next fastest year, 2014. It's a similar story for winter barley, with 95% of the barley area cut by the 31st of July, 20% ahead of 2014. Winter oilseed rape has been a slightly different story and progress across GB has been largely in line with last season. This is possibly a reflection of the increased rapeseed area in later harvested regions. Yields have proven to be quite variable. So far, the ADAS harvest reports estimate average winter wheat yields at 7.7 to 8 tonnes per hectare. Average winter barley yields are estimated at 6.8 to 7 tonnes per hectare. And finally, winter oilseed rape yields at 3.3 to 3.5 tonnes per hectare. It goes without saying that there has been a lot of variation in yield following the beast from the east, wet spring and then drought. As a result, depending on soil type and region, significantly lower and higher yields have been seen. We're currently working on producing the first estimates of cereal quality and these will be released in the first week of September. However, the harvest reporting from ADAS has given us an early indication of what we could see. Quality for winter wheat has generally held, although as with yields, there has been some considerable variability across specific weight, driven largely by soil type. Proteins have generally looked good, although there are some sporadic reports of lower proteins, potentially driven by a lack of rainfall when late nitrogen was applied. Hagbergs have been unsurprisingly good so far, driven by hot and dry conditions, although this has seen some low moistures. For winter barley, we've seen similar patterns, variable specific weights with some low bushel weights, particularly on very light land in the east. Grain nitrogens on molting varieties have reportedly averaged around 1.6%. So, to sum up, harvest 2018 has generally been completed at pace, exacerbated by the hot, dry conditions, Soil type and regionality have driven yield variability for all harvested crops, although reportedly winter crop quality, especially for wheat, has largely held up. As harvest reaches its conclusion, AHDB will continue to report on progress and cereal quality. Keep an eye on the AHDB markets page for the latest updates.